Good Monday morning. <sighs> it is snowing. It's been snowing pretty much all morning. But it isn't it isn't really cold, so you know what, we'll take it. Ah. It's funny, I was editing the video there yesterday, or the video from yesterday and the day before, I was editing that last night, and I realized how many times in a video I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and that's the plan today, and the plan, you know, going forward. I never get any of that stuff done. So, I'm gonna work on trying to uh, not predict what I'm gonna be doing, because if it never happens anyways, it probably just confuses things. People are like, oh, well, he said he was going to do that, and then he never showed us, because I never did it. Uh, usually not because I'm lazy or don't want to. It's because I run out of time, and something else usually comes up as well. So today, the hammer mill and the roller mill, it all has covers, and it looks like I actually covered most of the hammer mill or in the, uh, and the mixer. I didn't cover this roller. But that's almost a given. It's like watering your lawn when you don't want it to rain if you water your lawn it will rain guaranteed it'll rain within like 25 minutes so if you don't cover your roller mill it will snow or rain or something miserable will happen so it's best always just to uh, keep your uh, your ducks in a row keep everything covered up I'm gonna head up here right now. I got my truck running. I'm gonna grab some samples out of those bins. I got a load of canola to go south and I don't have enough. So I'm gonna have to send some samples to the buyer. I don't have enough of the kind that he bought. <clears throat> he bought my uh, green canola. So, but I do have some canola from a couple years ago. Also got a little bit I don't know, it's a little bit weedy and could be one or two percent heated in there too. It's not very much, it's only about 500 bushels. And then I have all of this canola, so he can pick his choose how we want to fill the, fill the truck up. So it's even this sprayer, you know, I said I was gonna, I was gonna winter. I did get the nozzles all off, they're all in a bucket here. But uh, I haven't even put antifreeze in it yet. I was gonna do that yesterday, but the water in the chicken house was frozen and when my wife walked up there to check her chickens, she, uh, the cows and the horses were all standing around one spot up by <clears throat> this older barn that's up there. So she walked up to look and what had happened is all those waters are like <laughs> staggered one side to the other all the way up. And when they were installed, they all had uh, underground power and underground water going to them. But when the uh, power lines and everything fell down a few years ago, now there's no power to them and the animals have knocked over the waters because there's no water in them so they just kick them around. So the one was exposed and when it froze the other night it must have cracked that valve so the water was leaking out once it thawed out. So we got that fixed yesterday and we got a different water installed in the chicken coop with a heater on it and everything so that took a bunch of time. Had to get some hay for the cows, some bedding for them and, and everything else so we pretty much spent most of the day doing that. You can see that they actually have gone down. Like the, the, the numbers on the bottom are the days that it's been in there. So they're actually all going down. It's cooling down itself. Grain's gonna make a cycle. I had it in another video of, of the way the air flows through the grain bin because it does slowly flow through. Uh, this is all gonna be sped up by the fact that we are, with our <laughs> feed business and the fact we grind most of our grain up for feed, like that bin already down there is empty, my barley bin. So I'm gonna need to take a load. Basically, I need five, five of my smallest truckloads to fill that bin back up. So I need to, uh, I need to take a load out of each bin. Now that's gonna break the top. When when the grain cones up, it makes a, it can make a crust at the top where it can't easily go through its motion to circulate. And we've always found if you can take some of that out of there and bring that cone so it goes the other way, you'll uh, your grain will last a whole bunch longer. 
plus the moisture that's in there because there always is right the, you know when you get the grain dry it's 13.5 moisture there's still moisture in there so it's, it does its circulating thing and that moisture then sits in one spot so if you can get that out of there then that much moisture is gone plus the grains moved a little bit and uh, not that we haven't had uh, we haven't had wrecks with grain we certainly have but we've had a lot less since we've started using that uh, system <clears throat> so I got all my bins checked everything is looking good so I gotta grab one more sample of wheat and then uh, I'll see what the what the family's doing we got uh, I haven't had breakfast yet so we're gonna run in and have breakfast and then we're gonna run over and look at those peas today we didn't do that either the other two three days I said we were going to but it's snowing like crazy. okay so thankfully it's a little warmer today everything started pretty much without a hitch this uh, tractor hadn't been running for quite a while so we did have to boost it but it fired right up just uh, just a little extra from uh, from another battery is all it needs so I'm just gonna wing this up and I'm gonna head over east of town we drove over there there's uh, not gonna be quite a tandem load there but definitely looks good enough for what we need so we're going to uh, slip over load it up get it out of the neighbor's hair there and uh, we'll get it ground up for feed okay so we just got back uh, I loaded up eight bags on a guy and then uh, we went back east of town and got our tractor so we did get a we got a load of peas I'm going to winterize this thing now got to climb up there dump these pails of antifreeze in it takes actually quite a bit my wife got four boxes we you could get it in pails but they sold out this year so we missed that so these are from last year we saved as much as we could obviously you can't save it all but uh, so I got to climb up dump these in there dump those four boxes in there I'm going to back it out, wing it out, and then pump through until we see antifreeze coming through each of the booms and all of the nozzles, and then we'll know it's ready to get put down in the shed. All right, so we got Marvin winterized water or antifreeze for all the booms, all the valves, everything, so he's down put away. <coughs> that chop's all locked up and uh, booby-trapped for, uh, for uh, safety purposes. Uh, I gotta bring that water trailer in here now, the sprayer trailer, because it's all frozen and snowed on and everything. I'll let it thaw out all overnight. We're gonna take everything off of it this year so we can use that trailer for uh, <clears throat> throughout the winter if we need it. So uh, that's my plan here now. thawing out I got both heaters on and the <clears throat> and the fan going so shouldn't take very long but those peas that I got they look pretty good when I was backing them up I noticed a bit of a uh, bit of small weed seeds now depending on what kind of weed seeds they are it doesn't matter all that much but uh, <clears throat> with uh, 4-H season and everything coming up like that and, and uh, you know it's you want the cleanest feed as, right, that you can possibly get. So I'm just going to run up here right now and grab my rotary cleaner. It won't take long to run them through. That way I can get everything out. The only thing that'll come, uh, the only thing that'll come out will be uh, out of the out of the clean side will be peas. So it's yeah, it's well worth it. It won't take that long, and I have to weigh them out anyways, so I know how much to pay the guy. Okay, so this is the process. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run it through a little bit slower off the start here to make sure nothing's coming out. But the peas there, they'll go up into that rotary drum. And anything that's not a pea will fall through there. All the uh, weed seeds and, and other things. So.
and out the other side if we've done everything right. You have nice clean teeth coming over the edge. So, working pretty good. Doesn't take very long at all. So that is the process of that. Uh, two trucks, one auger, and a little bit of power. And a fancy dancy rotary screen up on a big wagon. So, whatever falls through the bottom, I gotta have a look through that and see if it's mostly weeds. I'll just pile it up and burn it. And then, uh, I doubt there's gonna be very much. Maybe a, <clears throat> maybe a half a ton throughout that whole load, but like I say, I wanted to, I didn't wanna run it through there anyways because it's uh, just not handy to have anything else in there if at all possible. So for now, I'm going to slip in and have supper. I'm probably going to come out later and do a couple more hours of that, let it run for a little bit. Definitely something you don't want to walk away from unless you really enjoy shoveling. And I don't, uh, I don't like shoveling that much. So it's off here now. And if uh, there was a storm blowing in, so if that gets here, or I guess if it takes too long to have supper, that'll be it for me tonight. So to anybody who's still tuning in, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow.